Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate Caldera forms. To use these Caldera forms in Elementor, you need a Caldera forms widget from the plus add-ons. But before that, you need to install Caldera forms from WordPress.org or from their premium version. If you want to download the free version, you can check it out on a wordpress.org using this link. You can search out with the Caldera forms more than contact forms and you will find out this and you can download it. Or if you want a premium version, you can go to the calderaforms.com and you can go to the pricing and download its premium version. We are assuming you already have downloaded this add-ons, this form. And you already made the forms for that form plugin. For example, in the backend, you can create a forms like this. Now, let's go to the Elementor. In the Elementor, you need to install Caldera forms widget. Once you install and once you drag and drop it on the field, you will find out select form. In which you will have all the forms which are available in the Caldera form plugin in the back end. And now you need to select one form from the, that. Once you select the form, you need to go to the style tab. In the style tab, you will have options for the label. In the label options, you have the options for the padding, margin, typography, label color, description color. And the required symbol color. After that, you will have options for the input field styling. In the input field styling, you can adjust the typography, you can adjust placeholder color. This is the text color for the placeholder. Then you can adjust your padding and margin. In the normal state, you can adjust text color, background color, box border, and the box shadow. Same options are available for the focus state. Now you can check it out text area fill styling. Again in that you have options for padding, margin, typography and placeholder text color. You can adjust all those from these options. After that you have options for the normal and focus state for text color background type that means you can adjust your background color or you can adjust background image and gradient color then you have options for the box border and box shadow as i told you all the options are available for the normal and the for the focus state now let's check out the checkbox and radio fields in the checkbox and radio fields, you can adjust the text size, you can adjust icon size, you can change the color. Here is the option for the uncheck bars color for the background and for the icon and for the checked part. And you will have options for the box border. Same options will be available for the radio button. The text size, icon size, the color and so on. After that, we have the toggle button option. In the toggle button, it will look like this. And using that, you can toggle your any part of form. So let's go to the toggle button and you can adjust their padding. It will like a button and with all options are available. Padding, margin, the typography and there will be three states normal hover and the active and for all those three states we have options for the color background border border radius and box shadow then you have options for the file or upload field if you have file or upload field something like this Let's go to the file upload field. In that you have option for the padding, margin, typography, 
and for the normal and hover state text color background color border type border radius and box shadow options after that there is option for the section break or the summary if you see the section break there is the break in between which is available using this option and you can adjust its color after that in the preview information if you click on that you will see the summary of total form in which you have options to summary headings alignment the bottom space of the heading summary spading typography and summary text color so all those options are available for the preview information as known as your summary chart after that there is a calendar caldera special in which you have option for the typography calculation color this is the caldera special widgets which are like a pricing table and other options all these options are for those fields this is a consent field in which this is the agree or disagree kind of field so it have a typography option color option privacy hover color option this is the link of privacy then there is a sign color which you can adjust from this option after that you can adjust the submit or send button options using this all the variations first of all you will have a width option so you can adjust the width that option is available for the responsive then you can adjust typography inner padding margin then for the normal and for the hover state you have options for text color background color box border box shadow and as i mentioned all these options for the normal and for the hover state you can adjust, you can adjust for both the states. states then, then, then you have, have the option, option for the outer field, field which is the dimension in between two fields so you can adjust those using this option the margin padding background color border radius and the box shadow options for the normal and for the hover state then you can adjust form container using these variations like padding margin for the normal and for the hover state the background color border type and the box shadow all these options available for the normal and for the hover state then once you submit a form you will have a success message or if you have any errors you will find validation error so to design that you can use the margin inner padding typography text color background color border related options for the success and for the validation message then in the extra options you can adjust the forms width which is available in the pixel and in the percentage you can adjust both then you have option for the on scroll view animation we have made separate video for this you can check it out on our channel then in the advanced tab there is option of plus extras again we have made a separate video for plus extras you can check it out in our channel so these are the options for the caldera forms thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe us.